Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for July 23rd to July 29, 2018. So four cards spread and let's jump directly to the reading guys. The first card that shows up, the topic for Sagittarius is this is going to be the Two of Swords. Then we do have the core of the situation here, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Afterwards we do have the Nine of Wands, which uh, plays a role as a, a challenge that you need to overcome. And the last one is the Guidance here, which is the Four card. Alright, so a little bit of a contradictory is what we do have here, or a controversy. So from one of the sides, alright, we do have the Two of Swords, which points that this week is going to be rather very peaceful and very calm. The, the, the week itself is going to hang on a, a particular precious equilibrium. Uh, which you will take no part of taking sides either into your career or either into your relationship. Now, why is that? It is because we do have the Ace of Pentacles into a core position or the core of the situation. So something good is going to start happening for you or start unfolding. For example, your relationship suddenly out of nowhere will start being a little bit more harmonious, you know, or your job will suddenly um, start bringing you more um, satisfaction, etc., etc and you will not want to take any actions against it so you don't compromise the improvement in general and uh, that is displayed here with these couple of cards now from one of the sides we do have the two of swords which is the uh, the topic of the week where you're sitting you know and taking no action whatsoever allowing everything to ha to hang on that particular equilibrium because and the Two of Swords is one of the cards saying that before deciding what to do, you need to consider all points of view. So that week specifically will be about you considering, you know, what is going to be your next move so you can pers um, conserve, you know, whatever is starting to developing in your life, either into your career or either into your relationship. Very important here. That being said, you should not uh, allow people to slip you down, um, down to the slope with a uh, false testimonials, you know, um, or to exert false, false judgment into your mind. Um, the thing with the Two of Swords is that sometimes that card could play a role as someone is uh, misleading you, you know, uh, and um, making you do the wrong choice. Uh, but what you don't realize here is that by you waiting uh, enough or kind of like store the situation as much as you can, the right choice will become obvious for you. And that is displayed here in the nine of so in the nine of wands where you need to have the patience. All right, you need to have the patience um, to kind of like uh, <clears throat> guard your. Uh, position into the situation until the time is right. Now the, the nine of one speaks for patience and also speaks for a little bit of adjustments. And adjustments I mean adjustments into your relationship or into your career which serves your comfort. So you can um, make small changes into your relationship that thus you will find uh, you will um, you will feel a little bit more comfortable in it and as well into your career but not a major one. For example let's say that you are married okay and your partner is uh, taking the kids every day from or you are taking the kids every day from the school and the change could be that you may um, demand or kind of it's not demand but ask your partner you know to kind of share that responsibility and your partner to start taking taking the kids from school let's say um, every day after tomorrow Right, so these kind of small changes we're talking about, which um, uh, will make your life a little bit more easy and a little bit more comf uh, comfortable. And then we do go to the uh, full card, which is <clears throat> the guidance that you should uh, that you should follow during that particular week. And the, the full card says that other than that, you have to be carefree. Uh, and joyful all right you need to allow those those ideas which you are waiting to emerge here with the two of swords so the uh, uh the right choice to become obvious for you you need to allow those ideas to take place in your mind thus you should not follow it, uh, anybody else's advices but your um independable and original uh, and original thinking and as well the full card points that when you are dealing with some somebody you know when first time you you meet somebody uh, and you invite them in your life um, 
in a certain occasion a little kindness will go for a long way you have to be very sincere when we talk about the full card when you deal with people and with situation in general and also the full card points that you have to be more prone to the um to to the goal to the end of the goal rather than to how you're gonna get there so it's all about the idea rather than the obstacles and the strategy uh, of how you are going to exert that idea thus far remember we're talking about ideas here and we're talking about um, goals rather than the very first steps because the very first steps are going to follow but for now, you Sagittarius is, needs to allow that foundation here, which is happening, to take place and to consolidate. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Sagittarius for July 23rd to July 29th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.